open browser. Also, I will start this program for myself. So we will wait uh, two more minutes, sir. Yes, please. You you can share the screen. Yes, please. Yes, please. Uh. Uh, Raja sir. Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So today we have demo on thermal problems, right? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, okay. 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 Okay, sir. We'll start. Uh, good afternoon, participants. So I welcome you for the third session of the third day STTP program. Uh, today we have an online demo. Uh, actually, uh, we are facing know? some yes, I, because of uh, this online mode of uh, uh, program. We are facing some uh, technical difficulty, uh, but anyway, we will try to uh, give you some uh, online uh, demonstration how to do some simple and standard uh, structural problems and thermal problems. And also tomorrow we have a session on a dynamical problem. So this uh, main intention of this demo is just to make you aware of uh, the many softwares available for uh, finite element analysis. Uh, you can use any type of software uh, participant, but the procedure, what we are going to apply for one software is the same procedure only we are going to do for uh, other softwares also. So we will try to understand the steps followed for each and every uh, types of problem. So then you can easily uh, use any uh, software available with you. So now we are planning to give uh, demonstration on uh, two dimensional uh, that is heat transfer problem. Uh, so one of our senior uh, faculty member, Mr. Raja Kathike is going to handle this session. So he is uh, well versed with the software. Uh, suppose uh, 
because uh, it is online we are not giving to give we are not able to give the hands on training but anyway we try to we try to give some important points regarding the operating any softwares okay so thank you uh, mr raja kartikeyan sir so now over to raja sir uh, raja sir uh, yes bro sir Ah, uh, you can start. Yes, bro, sir. Yes, bro. We are going to discuss a thermal problem. Okay. Before going to discuss a thermal problem, uh, I am trying to use my uh, workbench, but there is some technical difficulties we are facing by opening the uh, workbench. That's why we are going to have a Basic platform in the APDL model. Okay. Even though if it is in the APDL, uh, then I am going to show the comparison of the same problem. So uh, the problem is nothing but the same model. The model will be somewhat different, but I am going to share the knowledge of the same thing. What will be in the workbench? Because nowadays we are using the workbench most frequently than comparing to your APDL. First, we are going to do the some basic fundamental of the thermal problem. In the thermal, there is a three important topic. The first one is here. As now, I am going to share my screen. No, sir. Not it coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, thank you, Prof. For this APDL screen, what I am going to solve by using the APDL screen. After finishing this problem, I will tell how to solve the same in the workbench. First, I am going to take the difference. Here it is a thermal voltage problem. I am going to give the thermal analysis. The uh, first one is preference. In the uh, last class, we discussed about the structural problem. After finishing the structural problem of a basic uh, and a basic introduction of the structural, today we are going to discuss about the thermal problem. So I am going to take the preference as a thermal. Right. In the next class, the, tomorrow we will have a combination. We will need to support the combination problem. If it is possible, we uh, can have a discussion. When you OK, the preprocessor element type, in this element type, I'm going to add, add the new element, the solid. Thermal mass, a 3D mass 71. Okay. Here I am going to take the thermal mass, a 3D mass 71. And do it here. And close. The next, a real constant. In this real constant, uh, here I am going to use the thickness. Of this is a, let us consider this is a rectangular plate, a rectangular plate of length uh, 100 mm, length 100 mm, height 200 mm. So let us consider the rectangular plate of length 100 mm and height 200 mm for the thickness of 5 mm thick. This is a problem statement. Uh, 
of this problem statement for the conduction heat transfer, we are going to do the analysis. Here for your idea, I am sharing the same. Length of the problem is 100 mm on this side and the height will be a 200. For this particular problem, on the top surface, we are going to assume the heat transfer of 300 degrees centigrade. On the top surface, we are assuming that uh, this is a conduction heat transfer of 300 degrees centigrade. Right hand side, we are running the same conductive heat transfer of 100 degree. This is a long statement. For this particular uh, rectangular plate, we are taking as a thickness of 5 mm. The thickness of 5 mm is a thick. For this thickness, you should Share this thickness value in the element table. In the element table, you have to share the thickness value. So we are going to the add a new page and option K3. In this K3, you should go to add the thickness option. Going to share the thickness, or we can take it as an same uh, element, uh, element as a single plane element, plane cis element. For this, add thermal mass with 3D mass 71. Close. Then go to real constant, uh, material property, material model, thermal conductivity. Raja sir. Yes sir. The screen is not visible. Isotopy and then enter the KXX value. This nothing but the thermal conductivity. Now I am assuming as a thermal conductivity as a 401. 401 is a thermal conductivity for this particular problem. Based on the thermal conductivity only, a temperature problem is going to be take place. Because it has a for metal it has a good conductivity. 
then if you compare with uh, some other material like a uh, wood or if you take uh, uh, suppose uh, if you take a uh, uh, stone like that it has a poor quality of thermal conductivity like if you uh, take a uh, gold it has a good thermal conductivity and copper and all this and uh, the metal will have a good conductivity thermal conductivity then you this key point the line will be assigned so if you are going to create an area it tells you about a key point and the area is inbuilt it is being created why i am telling this suppose if you are deleting this object in most of the cases we delete the area area alone okay then it uh, creates a boolean error okay if you delete the area this rectangular area will be deleted what happened to the remaining Yes, this line and this particular key point will be remain same. Then it gives an uncon unconstrained line and point is there in your problem. To avoid or overcome the same, you have to delete the line and also you have to delete this key point. To delete directly the area, the surface area will be deleted. Then remaining lines and key points will be there. Then APD, it's a problem you face. To avoid the same. Or to delete the entire thing. That's why I am telling that this particular basic concept. For this, I am going to select the area, a rectangular area. There is a different method is there to create the rectangular area by two corner. This by uh, two corner is nothing but this is my bottom corner, a lower left corner. A lower left corner is nothing but uh, on the axis x axis zero. To y is zero and z zero, and then I am going to give the diagonal value to the top right corner. For this top right corner, for this lower left corner will be a zero zero zero, and the top right corner will be an in x coordinate will be a hundred, and in the y coordinate will be an two hundred is an height of the rectangle. By two corner and the center and corner and by dimension. There is a three different method is that we will have a small discussion. By two corner, you are about your x coordinate. From your x coordinate, with respect to the x coordinate plane, it is a zero. For your y coordinate, it is also be a zero. If you put it as a blank, it will take it as a zero. Then what is your width of the problem? For this particular problem, the width is hundred. Then height is two hundred. Okay. Then your problem has been created. It's a general problem. Based on the general information, we are going to discuss the whole bunch. In this whole bunch, we are going to have a discuss with a different model. So then after finishing your rectangle, area is over. Now we are going to do the meshing operations. Mesh tool. In the last class we discussed. About the machine. Here I am going to select the area set. Okay. Set for the entire area. For the entire area, you okay. So what is the element edge length? The total length of the problem is 100 mm and the total width is a height is 200 mm. So I am going to take the element edge length set 10. Okay. Then. Here we are not finished your meshing operation. Only we given the what is the uh, mesh size is going to be uh, uh, given. Only we share the size control option. Now only the actual machine is going to be take place. Right. It is a size control. That's why in the previous class we discussed the size control. The size control is in one part, and next one is your meshing. Here it is a combination of Size control and meshing. 
this we have to use the mesh tool. Now we are going to use the meshing mesh. This particular area is going to be mesh and give OK. We can go with an actual machine area to free area. Here I am selecting this free area. This problem, unfortunately, it has taken a two element. That's why it is giving the error command and closing the second one and deleting the second type of element. Now I'm going to add a thermal mass, a 3D mass 71. So unfortunately, it takes a two element. The first element is a measure comfortable. Now if you go for the machine the area, free machine, select this particular machine and do OK. Go for a machine, uh, same area and free area. Select this area. Do OK. okay. Um, small clarification in the element type. Okay, take it as a plane 55. So, after I will uh, take it as a, another element because of the motion changed. Right. Then it is a machine is over. Then go for the next loading condition, define load, apply a thermal, a temperature load, a temperature on the line. On this line, I am going to select the top surface line as a 300 mm, 300 degree centigrade, do OK, then temperature of 300 centigrade. Thank you. Okay. Then again a temperature for this right hand side. You okay. 
the temperature will be of 100 degree here we are going to in the two temperature value is lower then material properties for material properties nothing but your k value uh, then solution solve current load step After getting the solution is done, I'm closing this window. Now I'm going to go, go get the output window. There it is a general post processor. It's a common, what I'm discussing is a common. Sir, Raja sir. Yes, sir. Sir, uh, the pa other participants are waiting yes, uh, for attending the meeting. You have to allow them for joining the meeting. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, I'm uh, calling him, but he is not responding. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Just to uh, you check it out. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, okay. okay. Now we are going to take the uh, output window. For this output window, plot result, contour plot. Okay, then moving solution. UF solution, then on this nodal temperature, deformed and undeformed shape. Here we can visualize in the 3D module for plot control style, size and shape, showing this size. Okay. This is a, a plane element. This considers a plane element. Then I will animate. Inform the sheet or inform the results. We do the temperature from the top surface. We have 300 degree temperature and 100 degree temperature on the right side. It's a thermal bone to the this is a basic fundamental what we discuss. But today we are going to discuss the some uh, industrial component like a uh, brake drum. Okay, this is a brake drum. In this brake drum, we are going to have analysis in a workbench. Uh, okay, but uh, unfortunately, this is uh, not opening this workbench, is not, not functioning. So we are going to have some PPD presentation for this. But before going to this, for any thermal problem, the first thing uh, is uh, we have to give the preference as a thermal. The first very important for any temperature problem, we have to go especially the thermal analysis in the preference. Okay, the next is we have to select the element type for both your APDL and as well as for your Workbench. In your APDL, it is given as an uh, element type. In workbench, it is uh, given as an uh, geometric model. In the geometric model, we have an element uh, that. Third thing, you have to specify the material property. For this material property, you give the K value, thermal conductivity. Based on the thermal conductivity, the problem will change. So here, I am going to use for the uh, workbench, there is a two uh, thermal condi uh, condition I am going to use. One is a temperature for the outer disk, okay, then for the inner, we are going to use a 22 degree as an ambient temperature. Okay, then due to this temperature uh, difference, what is the uh, temperature is going to be transferred along the circumference of the heat drum? Now we will have a discussion. statement of this problem, we are going to have a steady state thermal condition of this 
drum brake in the, in the front, you are going to have an, a thermal temperature of the temperature of 80 degrees centigrade. Okay. For this phase, the problem statement, when your problem statement is given as an this surface, we are going to take the 80 degree temperature. Okay. 80 degree temperature on this this and inside I am going to apply the ambient temperature of 22 degree centigrade. Then after applying these two thermal boundary condition, what is the heat transfer is going to be take place along the circumference of this drum. That is the analysis we are going to take in this experiment. Okay. On this surface, for the, because we are applying the heat from the heat input, 80 degree temperature along the circumference, okay, then the heat is slowly transferred to the this particular area. What is the heat transfer? We are going to conduct. This is the final output. It looks like this. The, after applying the heat, we are going to have the final output. This is a higher temperature, the higher temperature of 80 degree here. If the heat is going to be conducted slowly in this convention heat transfer. Uh, uh, convective heat transfer along the circumference of the drum uh, brake. Now we will go to the uh, workbench. We are going to uh, take this and break them. Some of the same model is available in the uh, hip disk. Uh, using this, we are going to open. It will be available in the HGS file format. In this HGS file format, we are going to open in the answers. Okay. Then, after opening the same, the body creation is uh, rectified. Okay. In our, in our other ways, it is easy in the uh, workbench to develop the same model by using the revolve command. Okay, if you use the revolve command in a single step, you can do it the entire model. Then we are going to do the some uh, chamfer operation in this drum. Then after finishing the same, then we are going to do the pole operation. Okay, pole by uh, pole. In this pole command, we are going to do the pole and then after finishing this fixed to hold, there is an option hold along the radius direction, along the 360 degree. Okay, you are going to give the how many number of holes is required. Okay, that is an option. Okay, hold by the by using the center axis. By using the center axis, I'm going to select the option four hole along the 360 degree. Okay, from this option. A role has been generated from the entire circumference of the drum. Then, after taking this model in your uh, workbench, uh, because the workbench is very easy to create the three dimensional model as compared with your APDA. In APDA, it is uh, tough uh, to uh, uh, do the, uh, some objects. Uh, comparing with your APDA and the workbench, it will be an uh, Somewhat tough in the APDA, in workbench it will be more easy. Okay. Then, next is we are going to create the, we are going to select this boundary condition. This is my boundary condition. In this boundary condition, I am going to apply the 80 degree temperature then in the phase 1. Okay. The next is in this inner surface, it is going to be uh, taken as a uh, room temperature, as an ambient temperature of 22 degree centigrade for this particular analysis. We are considering this analysis for this experiment. This is a boundary condition for the structural for the structural for the structural material. The next thing 
was shown we are going to have a same geometry whether you can input the geometry from the uh, library files or otherwise we can create the geometry by using the roll command or otherwise we can use the extrude command also so one by one we have to do the extrude the next after creating the model successfully after creating the model that's why it is given as a geometry okay after creating the geometry we have to give the engineering data the engineering data is nothing but we are going to tell the material property of this particular problem we have the, in the APDL we have used as a uh, material property here we are going to use an engineering data then next we are going to go for the model then we answer steady state thermal analysis here we are going to select the thermal the thermal steady state this is a drag this one which is visible for you okay, you have to drag it from the uh, workbench then it gives like this a steady state thermal you have to drag okay, if you double click it won't come to the actual platform okay. if you drag then only it will come to the your right side window there will be a window okay, okay, this is a common uh, model tree will be available in the left hand side okay in this model tree you have to select the steady state thermal and you should drag from the uh, steady state thermal then after that now we are going to do the double clicking the model on the case one then now we are going for the UA uh, permission. Okay, it is a metric mm kg and newton seconds. We are going to take this now. Then again, we are going for the machine, the general machine. By selecting the uh, model, we are going with a general machine. Then, after machine is over, then if you are interested with this particular area, this inner area, if you are interested with this inner area, you can go for the re machine. Okay, re machine. Then it gives a uh, more accurate result along this inner surface of the uh, model. It, in, uh, it gives the output because we are interested with the, uh, the inner surface. The heat is going to be transferred from this surface to the outermost to boundary. What is the heat transfer? That's why we are doing the some uh, more uh, machine activities in the inside. Suppose that this is a structural problem. Will take care of the failure. Always a failure will be on the weaker section, on the bold side, on the circular form. So we will give a more important on the this circular hole. Okay. So after the machine is over, then you can go with the again on the circumference. Again, it is going for the re machine. That's why it gives an the modified machine. After so doing the update. Giving there some value, numerical value. Uh, first, we are entering the 8, and then we are doing the next, we are going to do the enter the 4 in the approximately minimum size. After finishing this 4, then again we will go for the 8. Then you will use in a re machine. Then, if you do the 8, it won't uh, generate the machine operation. For this, you have to do the update. So that is important in this particular workbench. If you enter the value, you don't update. For updating, you should click this yellow button. After machine is over, applying the thermal boundary condition. Here we are going to apply the thermal boundary condition as a steady state thermal model. Okay. Here this is a thermal steady state model. Okay. Here I am going to apply the temperature. And already we discussed in the temperature of the APDL, the same temperature boundary condition I am going to assign in this uh, problem also. Then select the entire surface. By selecting the surface, there is a option is called selecting the edge or surface or selecting the node point. Okay, here I am going to use the option selecting the surface, this particular surface. The next, after selecting this, now we are going to uh, have a 
by applying the geometrical detail of the temperature. Here the detail of the temperature is 80 degree. I am going to apply the thermal value of 80 degree for this problem. After giving the, what is the magnitude? This is the magnitude, this is nothing but an along the surface area. On the surface area, it is going to take the temperature and then apart from that, the inside, we are going to give the 22 degree. Okay. This is a transient analysis. The transient analysis is nothing but the time varying analysis. We suddenly it goes to the 22 degree to 80 degree temperature. Based on the time boundary, the temperature is goes to be slowly it is going to be increasing. Because in the uh, break drum, suddenly you won't get the temperature. If the uh, wheel is going to be rotated for the, some long period, on that time, if you apply the break, it is a time varying problem. The truth is called uh, some transient analysis, time varying analysis. Okay. This tabular column, you can able to visualize the temperature steady state. Then, Use the convection, convection heat transfer, already we created the conduction heat transfer. Here it is in a convection heat transfer for the inside. So using this convection heat transfer, they are going to apply convection as in a 22 degrees centigrade. Okay. For this film coefficient, we are going to import the film coefficient. That's why I already discussed in the geometry, choose the phase. That the phase we are going to select. We have to do the phase and as well as we are going to do the temperature ramp. Okay, uh, ramp to the temperature or if you need to elevate the temperature. Okay, so we are going to use the ramp and we are going to do the input okay, for the thin coefficient. It's a constant for the entire problem. is a stagnant air. It is a stagnant air. We are taking for this uh, uh, conversation. It is a stagnant air. Then, for this stagnant air, we are going to do the uh, temperature of the boundary condition: 80 degree temperature and 22 degree temperature on the phase three. What is the output? After the detailed conversation, okay, on the phase three, we are going to do the analysis to the table, the time varying, and the temperature. This convention coefficient is going to be generated automatically in okay, the table. For a thin and a thin uh, temperature at a particular time duration, tells about the time duration. Insert a thermal, a temperature, a temperature in the solution mode and detail temperatures. Then
here we are going to solve the same thing. Uh, sorry to do that. There is a important call from the department. Then we are going to ch choose the phase. This is a phase. What is the thermal boundary condition for this phase? Okay. Then if you solve in the workbench, you will get the temperature distribution along the entire circumference of the drum. Uh, break drum. Okay, you will have the temperature 2 on this based on the thermal conductivity then how the heat is going to be transferred from the along the surface of the drum. Then we are going to calculate the total heat flux with the temperature, the total heat flux which is in the parameters 80 degree temperature on the if you supply 80 degree temperature as the input on the temperature 2 zone, we will have a maximum value of 79.8 into conduction that's used for your conversion heat transfer and the minimum value of 77.5 degree temperature. Okay. Now we are going to finally, we are going to calculate the total heat flux value. Okay, heat flux value. Select the direction of the heat flux from the solution mode and then here the heat flux is on the x axis is going to be take place. It is the output, final output for this total heat flux from the x direction for the whole body. Heat clarification. Yes, we try to solve the same problem in workbench, but unfortunately, this is not a, a normal mode, it is more error. In it, uh, because we have, we have to drag from the model tree, it is not the most, uh, not convenient up to the level. So it takes more time, and my voice is uh, uh, while uh, dragging the same, it is not easy to, uh, it takes some time. Time lag is there. So we are discussing the APDL and the fundamental as a fundamental problem in the thermal. We are discussing the same problem in the four point. Any clarification? We are moving to the next one, next problem of the same thermal boundary conditions. We are having a discussion on the same thermal boundary conditions. Here we are taking the standard column, say piston. In this piston, we are going to uh, do the transient thermal analysis, the time varying analysis for this thermal problem. The previous we uh, discussed the temperature in the steady state mode as in a conductive heat transfer. Here this is a same conductive, but it is transient for the time varying. At the time of initial temperature of the system before uh, combustion we are taking as a 22 degrees centigrade and the temperature of the mode of the time of combustion 
to before combustion with a 22 degree temperature and at the time of combustion it will be in a 2000 degree temperature. Then how the heat is going to be transferred? Whether it is in a wa uh, water pool, so uh, water, there will be a liner will be there in the IC engine. Okay, uh, based on this liner, wet liner or drain liner, the uh, uh, crystal is going to be cooled. Uh, the 2000 degree temperature will be cooled in the some particular level. So this is the analysis based on the time. The time of combustion, what is the temperature? It is a 2000. At the time of initial, before combustion, this is 22 degree temperature. That's why it is a time bounded, uh, a transient analysis. Now we are going to create the model by using the same uh, workbench by using the revolve command. By using the revolve command, it is possible to have a sketch of the, uh, the rectangle of uh, which there is some slotted like this. As we will give the answers, we are doing some spheres. Yeah, the thickness will be there. Draw the one more line like this, and then we are going to do the revolve. If you use the revolve command, this axis of the revolution, by using this, you can create the cylinder okay, piston. After creating the piston, like this, or otherwise, you can input the same from the uh, axis, the window will be there. In the axis, you go and you can easily input the some corner component, a standard component will be there in the student library. Okay, in the answers in the library, some uh, standard component will be there. Okay, after importing the same, then next you are going to do the you are going to save the model.
the way, eh? the question is greater. Now we are going for the name. In the geometry, you have to select the thermal, uh, transient thermal. In the previous one, we selected the steady state thermal. Here, there is a the thermoanalysis itself, there is a transient thermal. You have to drag the transient thermal and you have to dedicate the geometry or otherwise you are going to import the geometry and here you are going to give the engineering data as a material property is an engineering data then here we are going to do the machine operation before going to the machine operation we are to ensuring that the dimension is in a mm kg newton seconds then you are going for the actual machine the actual machine status the input for your uh, workbench. In the workbench, it will be after giving the model has been generated, so there it is not, machine is not done. That's why it gives an, uh, this yellow color mark. Okay. If it is giving the green color tick, the everything is over. Okay. Here a machine is not take place. If you give the solve, if you give the solve, uh, then the uh, machine is going to be take place. And then we are going to uh, discuss after machine is over, it converts into a, a three dimensional object is converted into a nodes and elements. After a nodes and elements, then only it is possible to give the a input, a pre processor, a boundary condition. Here, what is a boundary condition? We are going to give the temperature as a boundary condition. A temperature and time is a boundary condition. After machine only, they are. The, Output uh, next uh, input uh, pre processor can be take place. That's why these particular things are in, in the question mark. The entire thing is in the question mark because it is not finished. Up to the geometry is finished, now it is still requires in a machine. Okay, this is a right uh, plat, uh, model tree. This is a model tree in your uh, workbench. After Machine is over by the default value of machine. If you are interested, you can go for the advanced size of options. Okay, first we will give the some uh, number of element in this case 3660 for your first type of machine. Okay, then after if you are interested, if you go for the refined machine on the top surface or on the curved surface, then we can go for the net. Again, one more time. First time I am entering to a 6, and next time I am entering to a 8, and third time I am going to enter into a 12. It is depending purely, it is depending upon your interest. You can go for the machine and machine and machine. But ensure whether your uh, or desktop is supporting, because if you go for the more number of machines, sometimes your computational time, it takes more computational time to solve the problem. Suppose uh, you are or desk and your uh, RAM should be supported for the same. Okay, here it is in the discussion, it is given as RAM 6, 8 and 12. A three types of advanced size option has been given. Okay, this particular option is not uh, comfortable in APDU. Okay, that's uh, important in the work uh, Simultaneously, you can queue. After giving the 6, if you uh, go with an uh, refresh, uh, solve, then we can go within a 8, and after solving the same, again we will go within a 12. Okay, so machine, re machine, and re machine, it is possible in uh, workbench, more comfortable. It is also it is possible in APDL, but uh, comfort factors, uh, user friendly, it is more user friendly in workbench. Now we are going to update the machine options. And, uh, finally, it has been updated. Then, what is your boundary condition? For this boundary condition, a transient thermal analysis inside the temperature, temperature and the transient thermal boundary conditions. Here, take the temperature window and the temperature box. Okay, we are going to apply the Geometry selections on the detail of the temperatures. Here we are going to apply the 2000 degree temperature on the this top surface. 
is already discussed in the uh, this is a form statement that is given in your problem. Okay, you are going to apply the uh, temperature of 2000 degree temperature and then uh, at 1, this is one area, then also enter the 25 under the temperature. Uh, The column two, okay, this is a transient pressure. Then here it is a convection uh, load, okay, a convection load uh, condition because in IC engine the temperature is going to be take place on the top surface on the uh, uh, sorry, uh, piston is going to be moved from the uh, BD, uh, BDC to TDC. There won't be any direct contact between the piston top surface and the boundary of the engine block. There will be only a convective heat transfer is going to be take place. So problem for a convective heat transfer and as well as uh, uh, time given, uh, thermal transient analysis, a two types of problem is going to be take place in this particular aspect. Okay. But, uh, be, uh, this particular Top surface is not having a direct contact with your temperature. Okay. Next thing. Okay. For a convection heat transfer, okay, you take the transient thermal and the model 3 and you are going to select the phase. Okay. In the geometry detail, a convection, the fuel coefficient, the ambient temperature of 22 degrees centigrade. And here you are going to convert the convection heat transfer, the film coefficient, and here you are going to import. Here we are going to also tell about your uh, uh, the, the water cooling because here you are having the water cooling is available because of the, the piston is going to be moved in the uh, in, uh, cylinder liner. Is going to be moved in the cylinder liner. The cylinder, uh, exactly, this surface of the piston is going to be directly contact with the cylinder liner. That liner is a wet liner. There is a two types of liner, a wet liner and dry liner. Here we are taking this wet liner. Okay. So we are going to give the film coefficient for this for a wet liner. We are assuming as in a, a water is going to be contact in this area. So we are going to do the input. Uh, import then for the water simplified case we are going to apply the uh, thermal coefficient the film coefficient of 1.2 e watts per mm uh, square degree centigrade okay, so that, uh, as a convention heat factor okay here the temperature is over, the temperature of 2000 degree and the convection heat transfer, the two things is solved. Here if, if you visualize this model 3, you can able to have an idea. Okay, the geometry is over and then the machine is over. Now the input, the pre-processor, the pre-processor is over. Okay, now it is going to be in a, only a solution mode. Uh, two, two things in the pre-processor. What is the temperature? The yeah, other is your convection heat transfer. That's why it gives in a green color tick. Based on this, you can have a confirmation that everything is correct. If you are, it is not correct, you will have an, a crossed mark. Okay. If you are visualizing the same, there is a mistake in this particular level itself. If you have a comparison with your APDL, this particular error cannot be visualized easily. After giving the solution solve current alert, it gives the error message. This is an error this happened in your entire experiment. You have to search based on the command line and the reading uh, readability of the command. We are you can able to understand that this is a mistake it has been done. So we have to go through with your geometry or machine or it may be in the input, okay, uh, thermal input temperature or convention or uh, uh, whether it may be in a boundary conditions or it, whether it may be in the, uh, the material property where we done the mistakes, we have to go through 
line by line. But if you are using the old branch, this is one of the advantages. You can take it as an easily you can identify where the mistakes because uh, without finishing this, it's not possible to enter. Then you won't get the, these tick marks. Okay, because I'm mean, in the offline, it is in the online activity. Actually, if you are doing the uh, answers, it takes more time and we can easily show the difference. But here it is not possible. That's why I'm telling you there. But theoretical aspects don't mistake me. Now we are going to give the solution. That's why this is uh, in the yellow color options. Okay, are you able to visualize this yellow color? Then, if we give the solution, then reaction, then we will the uh, solution phase will be with over. For this input, for a transient thermal input, then for this input, it gives an output of the solution. The boundary condition, the temperature boundary conditions, and the radiations. Here, we are going to find out the temperature on the top surface, okay, on the remaining surface. They are EST heat transfer because it is a 2000 uh, degrees centigrade. That's why it goes on a maximum. And here, you will have a somewhat minimum value because of that, it has a contact with your water. That's why we discuss the some fundamental of IC in general, okay, because if it is, a, if it is in a directly, it is a conductive heat, tra heat transfer, because, uh, for the due to conduction mode, we will have some heat will be there, which is not possible the, to overcome the same, the, the water is going to be surrounded uh, along the circumference. Sectional view of the model. Okay. Here we can uh, able to get the transient thermal analysis. The transient thermal for the time base, it is a nanosecond. In the IC until it takes a nanosecond. Okay, that's why this temperature has a higher temperature and slowly you are having some temperature deviations. And here you are having a same minimum temperature based on this. You can uh, have an idea. Transient thermal uh, temperature, so maximum temperature, and here we will have in the 1700 and the 1650, the 1560 and 1340, and then a minimum of what the ambient temperature what will be given in the initial stage. This is your ambient temperature, it is given in the initial stage. Transient thermal for this transient thermal, we are going to take the total heat flux and uh, we are going to take the transient thermal analysis for this transient thermal a time varying. Okay, at the time of combustion, it will be in a red in color. After the seconds, after the nanoseconds, if there is a transient problem at that particular time, the time is bounded of one second. What is the output? There is a discussion is given. Okay, and then after uh, some time period of uh, next level, the uh, second level, second level, the temperature will be slowly reduced. Okay, because uh, in the piston top side of the piston only is going to be directly affected with the uh, conduction uh, heat transfer in the thermal analysis. To this, I'm Of my uh, presentation, any clarification? Any clarifications or any doubt in the presentations?
Almost done.